show you a new knife that I just got. I wanted a companion with uh, my Survival Bush Point. Survival Bush Point works great. I love that little knife. But I wanted something a little beefier as well. Something that can do the heavy tasks. And uh, so I got the uh, BK2 Companion from K-Bar. And uh, I'm really liking it. I haven't had it for months. Um, I watched a lot of reviews and such. And uh, all in all, everybody says it's a great rugged knife. I've used it. And uh, for what I need to do with a knife, it does it. And uh, we're going to start with the sheath. Now this sheath is, it's not Kydex, it's a uh, material similar. A bug. <laughs> when you release this, what you're going to want to do is push your thumb straight up, and then you always run your spine along the back edge up here you know of any sheath leather or not otherwise if you're going to come off like this here you're going to scrape against the plastic and it can dull your edge whenever you put a knife in you push it firm your spine against this part of your sheath and then you push it in your blade never touches this part it's the same thing with a leather sheath if you pull this out, just pull out this way, you're going to cut your sheath. You don't do that. Use this right. This thing works amazing. And as well, I love that this is a type of Kydex. It's not Kydex, but it's similar. And I love that because in wet conditions, this will dry fast. You get a leather sheath wet you're looking at hours to dry and while it's drying you cannot keep your knife in the sheet so you have to find some place to put that knife otherwise especially high carbon steel it's going to rust your knife you put your high carbon steel in a wet sheath you're going to rust your knife and it can take eight hours even a day to dry a wet sheath um, i know this from experience I was dunked basically totally in a lake and my sheath got wet for the bush point and it took eight hours or so to dry that out and I could not put the bush point back in that well that dried out otherwise my blade would be total rust so I had to carry my bush point put it somewhere with an open knife you know a sharp knife so this here I love that it's a uh, you know the material of this knife I love that especially for wet conditions I do a lot of rain you know rain camp I do a lot of winter camping so this is perfect for that and then we have a nylon here you know yourself a nylon this here dries quick as well which is a great another great option so this here is a great all-weather type sheath you know it has great retention great retention you know for like that will not come up. Now I put a leg lanyard around this so it keeps it you know I can take it out one hand but what I love about this if you don't like a leg lanyard if you uh, unhook this you know it can fall to the side like this here which is a good thing it's not a design flaw in my opinion the reason why is because you know if I don't want to just release this one-handed I can flip this up grab it both hands nice and easily more control you know put it back in I can move this if I want to sit down in a car or someplace else I love it I can move it anywhere I want to you know and it's great now if you just want to rock around like this here it's it's fine I've you know walked around all day yesterday with this just hanging like this without the leg strap and it works great so I love the way the sheath is. The handle has bolts through it. That's the way it holds it together, has bolts all the way through. Now, for precaution's sakes, a lot of pounding and so on and stuff, I know a lot of knives that these will loosen over time. Well, I just went and got a Loctite, a thread locker, 
and uh, had put this on all these bolts. So that way there, I never have to worry about it loosening up. I'm not sure if it would, but I'm taking precautions, like I said, because in the field, I won't be carrying an Allen wrench. So I'm taking precautions. Now, another thing that I did is I ground this off at a 90 degree, just so I could strike a ferro rod, and it strikes a ferro rod great now. But I did grind that off. I also did a lot of tasks with this uh, yesterday. And uh, like I said, it performed very well. I'm going to uh, actually show you how this performs. What I did with this is uh, I also put a lanyard. They provide a lanyard hole here. Put a lanyard on this. So when I chop, put my thumb in this way here, wrap around, and grip. This way here, if I let go, it swings out to the outside of my hand. But I left it long enough that I can grip this knob back here with these fingers for chopping. And it gives you more weight. This is a one pound knife. So uh, it does some heavy chopping. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to take this piece right here I just wanted to make sure that this is going to be okay to harvest this. You can see it's dead up top and such, so it's okay to harvest this. I'm going to cut it off down here first. There you go, one swipe. Now, I'll figure out where I want this. Okay, I'm going to uh, just cut this off right here. I want to be able to, uh, you know, be able to carve and such with this as well. As you see, it cuts, you know, it cuts well. So I can do any kind of carving tasks I need with this. I've already done a lot of carving and such with it. It cuts in nice, especially for a quarter inch thick knife. So I'm just kind of showing how this works. Ugh. Okay. Now this this here, I'm going to uh, carve a notch right in here. There you go. It's it's you know this. I was really impressed how this carves. I have not sharpened this either. Turn this around so you can see me carving this. There we go, that's for that. Now, put this away. Okay, this here is a uh, modified palmatory peg trap. Let's see, like I said, this here, I can do so much with this knife that I think this here you know, this is made as a survival knife, and since it's big enough, I believe that it would be a great survival knife if I only had one tool. This is, uh, you know, a very good option. You can see, I mean, it cuts just as good as anything else, really. And we'll got to even this up across here. I 
I see no problem with this doing fine tasks. There you go. Modified promontory peg trap. That quick. Nice and sturdy. Yeah. You know, you can choke up on this just as well. Do fine, fine tasks. This edge, I'll tell you, <laughs> it holds a good edge as well. Let's go do some chopping. Now this here is a dead old tree. So, it's a hard tree. It doesn't hurt that edge at all. Very happy. This here is a hard dead tree. If this was live, it would cut a lot easier. I usually stuff like this, I never chop anyway. Usually I always use a saw. Buck saw goes through this for a joke. And then you split it with something like this. So I think I'm gonna saw this down. I'll show you a baton test. In my area, you do not have uh, logs that you can find split. So, uh, you use what you got. This one here is kind of a little big for this, but I'm putting this right on top of this root and uh, see how it goes. There you go. And I'm cutting this here because this is the type of wood I would be splitting if I'm uh, burning wood. Now, let's see what we can do. I'm not the best at fire or at feather sticks, but you can see it taken off some nice curls. I'm happy with that. You know, I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, let's make it, let's take it down a little bit further.
Small tasks. <laughs> it does small tasks just as well as anything else, I think. Look how fine I just uh, did that. Nah, I'm not in frame, I can't see. But, yeah. Not sure what else to show you. The ton's nice. It does fine cutting on uh, for traps. Feather sticks. So in closing, the BK2 Companion by K-Bar uh, is one heck of an all-around good knife in my opinion. Uh, the specs, it's a uh, five and a quarter inch blade, uh, ten and a half I believe overall. Just just look up BK2 and uh, you can get the specs. I'm not, you know, not gonna go through them all. And the handle fits good in your hand. It's, uh, you know, you put a lanyard in it, on it, you don't have to worry as well. If you want to, you can twist this up with this lanyard here. I made it a little long, like I said, but now I've still got a firm grip, you know, either way. And if I let go, it swings outside kind of thing, right? And that's what you want when you put a lanyard on. But also made it a little longer so I can wear gloves with it as well. And uh, BK2, I think it's a very nice knife. And uh, it will be a great companion to my bush cap, my uh, survival bush point. Hope you enjoy and uh, make your own decisions up. But you can see what this can do. To me, it'll do anything any other knife can do. And it can do a lot more than a lot can do. Bye for now.